Perhaps I'm just getting too old for this kind of bullshit. Could be I need a break. Back in St. Lucia, it's just me and my distillery. <laughs> Same routine, day in and day out. You know, it's been a long time since you visited home, Chris. <laughs> and what would I do there? Keep you company while you watch the barrels mature? Like St. Lucia well enough when you were a boy. Speaking of rum, you remember Captain Franz Peterson? He came by recently for his uh, supplies. He's been asking for you. Says he has a problem we could use your help with. Dutchmen drink like fools, but Franz is a reliable man. Not like that Spanish dog, Torado. We're close. Keep your blade ready. I see you brought one of your colleagues. So, how was your trip? I'm not complaining. Mm. And how is Shootaloot? How is our friend? Busy exploring the bottom of the sea. You know, I tend to steer clear of places like this. Pirates, murders, horse, depravity and filth everywhere you look. Everything that's wrong with this city all gathered in one place. I kept my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. On the other hand, if you can rely on anyone in this city, it's you people. Greed makes you predictable, it makes you malleable. For the promise of money, you animals would gut your own mothers, wouldn't you? <laughs> Lucky for you, I don't share your high Spanish morals. If I did, I wouldn't be able to kill your fellow officer for you, would I? <gasps> now give me my money. Indeed. Do you know, another benefit of dealing with your kind is that you're so easily used then tossed away. Christopher Raven, you stand accused of murdering an officer of the Spanish Navy. The penalty for your crime is death. <laughs> You're gonna regret this, Toronto. Kill him! I'll take care of them. Got it. What the hell do you think you're doing? They're behind the door, Chris. We're going to have to split up and meet at the harbor. Go upstairs and try to find a way out. I think I saw a balcony up there. And what about you? Aren't you 